What else can I say? It's really exciting! So today is the 14th of December and I am about six weeks pregnant. Apparently the baby is like a size of a lentil. Very tiny and based on the date of the first day of my last period, because that's how you work it out, I would be due sometime around August, which is the month of my birthday and is obviously the height of summer. So we'll be very sweaty and sticky and hot, um, but that's fine. I did a test, it came up with one line, thick line, which means no pregnancy. Then I went to check on it about an hour later and there was another faint line. I kind of knew that I was pregnant before I did the test from the way that I was feeling and also from the fact that my period hadn't come. I really didn't want to do the pregnancy test, apart from the fact that it's like the worst use of single-use plastic. In fact, they're bringing out a fully flushable, plastic-free pregnancy test, a brand called Leah. Really excited about that. I was probably just gonna go to the doctors um, if I continued not having a period and feeling like this, but I just had this one in my bedside table and I'd had it for a while and it was just sitting there and I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna do it. So I did it and that came up. And anyway, the second line is kind of faint, but I'm pretty sure that I'm pregnant. It's really exciting and a little bit just crazy. We had been trying loosely for about five, six months. I had been taking supplements. I'll link the ones below. And in the last like two months, I did start to make a few lifestyle changes. Um, mainly because I was having really long cycles and that was kind of stressing me out a bit because like my cycles were like 41 days sometimes and that was meaning that even though we weren't necessarily desperate to get pregnant, it would take a long time if I had such long cycles. So what did I do? Um, I quit coffee. I just made a switch to decaf. I actually found that fine. I found a really nice organic decaf and yeah, switched to that. And then like went out and about in cafes and stuff. They all have decaf. I swear when I was pregnant with Jack and Sunny, that was not a normal thing. I remember Pret, I'm pretty sure they didn't do decaf. Not that I've checked this time, but I'm sure that they do. So yes, I quit with the caffeine. I also started introducing a little bit of meat. Very, very reluctantly, but basically I just thought, I'll see, and just see like if a little bit of meat, like once, twice a week, would make a difference. The other thing I was doing was making a concerted effort to try and put on a little bit of weight. Not that I was underweight, but just because I was having these really long cycles, I thought, again, maybe if I gain a few pounds, it might make a difference. The fourth thing I did was um, a couple of reflexology session. So my best friend happens to be an amazing reflexologist and she specializes in fertility and pregnancy. So she gave me two sessions. One was like a kind of general all over, but then the second most recent one she gave me was like a specific fertility one. I'll link to her below. She's amazing. I think those are the only things that I kind of like was properly doing. The supplements, some meat, a little bit of weight, uh, quick, cafe, quick, quick caffeine and reflexology. And then like, yeah, so my period didn't come. So I just thought, oh man, like it's another long cycle, nothing's changing, I'm gonna quit the meat again, I don't wanna eat meat. Um, but then like, yeah, my period just wasn't coming. And um, then I started feeling strange. So how am I feeling? So um, fine on the whole, um, really fine, but it's pretty early days, I'm only six weeks. One thing I am feeling is quite like nauseous -y. The only thing that helps is eating. And things that I've been drawn to include a lot of cheese, um, milk. So the other day I had like, I don't know why, I was like, I'm just gonna have a little glass of cow's milk because the kids drink it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. In fact, I've got some here. It just goes down so well. So I'm obviously craving like calcium. And it's strange for me because uh, drinking cow's milk and eating meat and stuff is not what I want to be doing and doesn't really fit in with my value system, like it just doesn't. But it seems to be feeling good, so I'm just going with it, at least for now. Um, yeah, we're not going to find out the gender, we didn't find it out with Jack and Sunny and 
not gonna find out this time I don't think. It's like the most wonderful surprise. In terms of the birth, so uh, I think we're gonna go for a hospital birth. I don't think I'd want a home birth. And actually, Sunny, we did try and have at home, but it didn't happen because, bit of a long story, but basically my waters broke and I didn't go into active labor. And if you don't go into active labor, you've got to go into hospital after a certain amount of time because you are at risk of infection once your waters break. So I had to go into hospital, but I proceeded to have like the most wonderful water birth in the birth center. And that was just amazing. And um, that's what I think we're gonna go for this time. So it is gonna be a hospital birth, hopefully in the water. We'll see. Yeah, it's strange, like, I love our home, I love it, but like, it's not ours, we're just renting, and I don't know, like, I don't feel pulled to give birth here. I don't know why, but I'm just not, so I'm gonna listen to that and go with my instinct of a hospital water birth. Uh, what else? Aside from the nausea and constant eating, mainly just keeping busy with the kids, actually, is really, really the best thing. That's like the best distraction. Like, just taking Jack to school, getting fresh air, being busy with them, I'm finding, is great. But I'm well aware that the symptoms probably will kick in in a couple of weeks, like maybe more around the like nine, 10 week mark. What else can I say? It's really exciting. Weirdly, I think it becomes a bigger deal each time. I feel like first time round, I was like super kind of naive and just like, oh my gosh, I don't know what's gonna happen, but like we're having a baby. Second time round was like, wow, okay, let's do this, yep. And now I'm like, we're so into the parenting groove that I'm just like, Okay, bring it on, this is big and this is amazing and it's like, it's just kind of even bigger deal. Really excited about cloth nappying and newborn. A lot of you guys ask me for suggestions around cloth nappies for newborns and I don't really know, like I'm really out of the loop. For Jack and Sunny we use G nappies, but by the end I wasn't like massively happy with them and we actually ended up giving them away to some friends. So I'm like a newbie on this, so any advice and tips for newborn cloth, please let me know. I wasn't actually gonna make this video because, I don't know, I just wasn't planning on, but like, in the early weeks of pregnancy, you can't really tell many people. So like, I have so much going on in my head and in my body, and like, I just kinda wanna get it off my chest. So, I just was like sitting there trying to do some work, feeling a bit rough, and I was like, I'm gonna make a video, I just wanna talk. So, um, here I am. By this point, we will have had our 12 week scan. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I feel like I've covered a lot, but I've obviously definitely forgotten something. I will link to the things that I've mentioned. And otherwise, I will see you guys soon for another video. Bye. Baby, um, I have a song for you. Would you like to hear it? Thunderstorm, go uh, I mean, I'll start again. Thunderstorm, go away. Please come back another day. That's awesome. Can you talk? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me what you want to say. I, I don't like.